Gymnastics is a sport in which gymnasts are supposed to perform incredibly difficult stunts. This sport requires extreme physical strength to perform dangerous tasks in a short time. Gymnasts perform flips, twists, and somersaults in the air, as well as landing risky landings, so there is an obvious fear of something going wrong. Moreover, the sport of gymnastics is ever-changing, and many styles and skills are in the game one day and gone the very next day. These ever-changing fads aren't a bad thing because they keep the sport interesting, force gymnasts to improve, and make it fascinating to reflect on where the sport has been while wondering where it is headed. In this video, we will look at all the things that are banned in gymnastics that most fans do not know. So let's get started. 1. Vault skills Vault skills that were once considered advanced in the sport are no longer considered so. Because vault has undergone a significant change in difficulty, these skills have not vanished, but they are only completed at lower levels due to their simplicity. Vaults used to be a very simple thing with many gymnasts competing only in front handspring vault on a Yamashita. A Yamashita, or Yami, was a front handspring vault in which the gymnasts touched their toes and went into a pike position before landing. Gymnasts occasionally performed a Yami with a half twist or a twisting front handspring to spice things up, but there wasn't much variation in the 1970s. Through the 80s and 90s, vaults became more challenging, advancing to a Sukahara, then your chenkos and front handspring front salto or double salto. Modern vaults are much more complex, such as aminars, chenks, double twisting your chenkos, and more. 2. Back to back tumbling. Back to back tumbling refers to any tumbling pass in which a gymnast fumbles from one corner of the floor to another without stopping. Many gymnasts, including Daniela Silivas, Oksana Omelianchik, and Dominic Dawes, used to perform it frequently but it is now less common for a variety of reasons. Today, the emphasis is on difficult skills that require more energy to complete without flipping out. There is also a stronger emphasis on landing, connecting skills and form, making back-to-back -to -back tumbling too difficult without being deducted in many places. 3. Sukahara Beam Dismount A round-off off the beam is performed in this dismount by a gymnast. The gymnast goes immediately into a back salto without letting their feet touch the ground. Once a popular beam dismount, it fell out of favor when the price dropped far below its actual difficulty. Unlike the other skills on this list, Sukahara dismount has the potential to return. While it was absent from the code of points for a time, it was reinstated as a C skill between 2013 and 2017. Gymnasts could not perform a C skill as a dismount in those years, so this addition had no effect until the 2017-2020 code of points removed the requirement for a D-level beam dismount. The skill is not very common now, and it does not feel like it is coming back because it is not very popular now. 4. Komanichi Dismount This dismount begins similarly to a toe front dismount. But as the gymnast shoots her legs off the bar and begins to release, there is a half twist into a backflip rather than the forward salto, which is typical of a toe front. Many skills that were at the pinnacle of difficulty in the 1970s are no longer practiced due to their drop in value, and the Komanichi dismount is one of them. The dismount, named after Nadia Komanichi and demonstrated at the 1976 Olympic Games, was one of the most difficult at the time. But gymnasts competing with more difficult skills today have forced the Komanichi dismount out of competition. Do you guys think this skill is difficult like those that are displayed today, or not? 5. Simone Bile Transfer Simone Biles has a history of controversies at the Olympics. Since the beginning of her career, the four-time Olympic artistic gymnastics champion has pushed the boundaries of her sport, so much so that Biles' name has been added to four rules in the sport's rulebook. In 2021, Biles revealed yet another surprise element by performing a Yurchenko double pike. No other female gymnast has ever made the switch. Biles performed one of the most difficult gymnastics moves ever with ease. According to various reports, the move was banned because the maneuvers Biles performed were deemed too dangerous for others to attempt. So these were the things that got banned in gymnastics, which most people do not know about. Do you know any of these moves? And if you enjoy gymnastics, do you have to try any of these for fun? Tell us in the comments section. We would love to hear from you guys. This was it. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.